Let's take the cheese. Now, in case you haven't noticed, Hollywood is officially on strike. We gotta do something. Absolutely. You know what we gotta do? Toga, Toga party. party. Leaving many moviegoers extremely disappointed. But Hollywood seems completely oblivious as they continue to produce flop after flop after flop. Greg, honey. Is it supposed to be this soft? So time to raise your togas and shake your bags as we look back on a time when Hollywood didn't suck. In National Lampoon's 1978 smash hit, Animal House. I anticipate a deeply religious experience. <laughs> Set in the turbulent 60s, Animal House is a charming depiction of a more innocent time in American academic life. Every Halloween, the trees are filled with underwear. Every spring, the toilets explode. A classic raunchy comedy at its best as the lovable underdogs of Delta House struggle against the psychotic dean of students. A vicious mother, isn't he? Yeah. He can't do that to our pledges. Only we can do that to our pledges. And his henchmen of Omega House as they conspire to expel them over trivial infractions. Acts of perversion so profound and disgusting that decorum prohibits listing them here. <laughs> While extremely entertaining, with an outstanding comedic cast, Animal House also demonstrates the importance of academic excellence in collegiate sports. <laughs> Music appreciation. I gave my love a story that had no end. I give. <laughs> and of course, Gender studies. You still want to show me your cucumber? Now you could still pay to go to the movies. Holy shit! But let's face it, most of them are divisive, boring, and frankly, a bit long. This thing talk. So instead of giving away your money to Hollywood, grab a pizza and enjoy a return to a simpler cinematic experience. Let's go! Thank you for watching, and as always, remember, when they decide to clutch their pearls, we'll provide the necklace right here on Salty Buttered Bags.